Um, who here has tried Coca Cola? They have. Uh, pretty much everybody. It's a known fact. So here's a fact Coca Cola uh, was a patent medicine in the 19th century by Dr. John, pa uh, Dr. John Pamberton, and he used a narcotic of actual cocaine in the beverage to um, basically help cures and well, help diseases back in that time. So um, as a Mexican American, um, I have witnessed the popular culture of coke um, influencing the lives of people in Mexico. So in cuisines or just in the morning daily lives, people around the world have used coke. So um, my name is Oscar Gonzalez, and I'm gonna talk to you about how the aspects of Coca-Cola has revolutionized the world and how it's impacted my Mexican, well, how it's impacted my culture today. So, first I'll discuss how the aspects of Coke have revolutionized around the world, and then I'll identify how it's affected my culture. So, um, Coca-Cola was uh, invented by Dr. John Pamberton, and he was a pharmacist in Atlanta, Georgia, and he basically um, had a, a vision that, well, why should people take pills or go all this way to find a doctor that's miles away when they can just drink a little bottle of Coke? But of course, today, this Coca-Cola does not have cocaine, so I mean, <laughs> you're getting a little messed up, but in those times, people used, uh, in that time, he used, he influenced the narcotic cocaine to um, help diseases like, uh, there was anxiety, depression, um, there was a lot of sorts of like uh, other um, diseases as well, or like infections that he wanted to use the bottle for. But uh, over the years, uh, Robert Woodruff, when Dr. John Townsend died, uh, Robert Woodruff took over the Coca-Cola company, and of course, people were trying to sue Coca-Cola for the use of the drug when they discovered that it was in the the drink and the beverage, so Robert Woodward changed the uh, formula to use a uh, coca bean, and I don't know the other significant flavors, but he used coca bean and other uh, ingredients to create the Coca-Cola we all know today. Now, this is not the only soda company that's a gone revolution. Also, Pepsi and other big soda corporations, they also had a change because of the use of drugs. So, um, in that time, Coke has, uh, people have people have known Coke around the world because of the tools they use. So like, we, Coca has revolutionized how the bottle looked. So they kind of monopolized how a soda bottle should look. They even created the image of Santa Claus. Back in the 1920s, people didn't really know who Santa Claus was, who was this guy, but, and looking at, uh, by Coke creating that, hey, like this jolly guy can drink Coca-Cola, why not should you? Like, they kind of revolutionized how he should look and how Coke should look and what people should do when they buy or drink Coke in their daily lives. So, um, first I'd talk to you about how Coke has inspired around the world, how it evolved. Now I'm gonna discuss uh, how it influences my life. So, uh, my family, uh, we use a lot of Coke, but it's a thing, I don't know. My family really likes to drink soda, so, and, uh, I remember going to, uh, summer vacations to uh, Guadalajara, Mexico. It's my grandfather's hometown. And I go over there a lot during uh, July, mid-July, and we uh, I see a lot of kids, they buy a uh, sweet bread, or over there it's pan dulce. So, and well, they usually buy that like at six, seven in the morning, and they get a bottle of Coke. I'm like, you're drinking soda in the morning, but it's an aspect, it's like a, it's a culture that they have brought up over there for many years. And it's, I've always asked my grandpa, why is it that, um, why is it that everybody just drinks Coke here? Like, why is it such a big thing? And he told me just, it's just come around since, well, since he was alive, since he can remember. And people have been drinking it ever since. And they, well, they fell in love with it, then in cuisine, and just parties, and everything you can think of. And, Pretty sure you guys can think of one part of your lives where uh, Coke was around for you. And um, like it has, it has brought up a lot of uh, uh, popular culture for people around the world to see like uh, well, how this carbonated drink can influence people in their daily lives. So um, 
Well, over the years, um, like Robert Woodruff, um, he, well, now today he, yeah, well, he's not alive, but um, the owner of Coca-Cola, they aspire to, you know, to continue uh, serving and producing uh, beverages around the world. And they, their like aspiration, I guess, is that Coke is so popular and demands because it's for the people. It's not for the corporation, it's not for money. And like, that's a big thing that's, has influenced today's life. So now I've discussed about how it's influenced my life. And now, uh, um, to conclude, um, now I have a better understanding of how Coca-Cola has influenced and the culture that it represents. I discussed how it, um, how it came into the world and how it influenced my life. And um, the creator of Coke, Dr. John Pemberton, you know, he has helped so many lives today. He didn't realize how this single drink can help so many people around the world. Coke has campaign uh, events and just so much stuff around the world and it's helped people like for daily issues. So I mean, next time you're on the street, uh, pick up the Coke. <laughs>